Hi guys, this is Nat from Jam Prime, and today we're going to be talking about um, the choice of course. Now, you know, after you're done with exam, um, so many of us, with the result that we got, we are not actually inspired to keep on moving forward with such score. You know, some people say, this score is not really good, I need to do a seat for Jam and uh, make a great score. Well, that's also a good idea, but some of us here, we have been looking for gain, trying to gain admission for almost a decade now, and uh, it's not, it hasn't been possible, and you felt like giving up, you felt like education is not something that you should engage in again, but it's not the time to lose hope on yourself. So I just want to give you this quick advice and also motivate you to keep on carrying on with that course. Now, you know, you know that Every school has a cut of mark. Every school has a cut of mark, which by whereby you can gain admission into that um, university. For instance, um, you know, you have a cut of mark of medicine and surgery. So so does um um UI or uni uh, UNN or UNIZ. These different institutions have different cut of mark for accepting students under that department. So your code of mark or maybe your job score was not so encouraging enough for you to um, gain admission into that university. Now the point here is that shouldn't be when you should give up. No some school do take screening while others do take positive exam. Now your jump Jam only doesn't determine you getting admission into the university. No, it doesn't. So what you have to do is you have to combine both your jam results and your pursuit team then with your O-level results. I said that in the previous video which I did yesterday. So what I'm saying this is this. So your jam mark alone doesn't determine you getting admission into that um that department. You have to combine with your pursuit team and your O-level results. Some of us here, yeah, our O-level um, our O-level results is actually perfect and good enough to gain admission into um our desired course. And we'll maybe you scored um two thirty or two uh twenty one or two hundred in your um jam jam result and uh, you are now thinking whether you should continue with your post with team or you should just sit again and start preparing for another jam well preparing for another jam might be a waste of time because um the, the world is moving fast and everything is going big most people are engaging in other activities other than education and you sitting at home preparing yeah you, there was a time when people would fail and they keep on keep on sitting for jam till they get that desired course. Well, gone are those days because nowadays you can get admission into a university and into a course that you actually wasn't aspiring for. Then with with time you can just do a change of course or a change of institution after your um, hundred level and with with um a high GP can gain admission into that favorite course you want. So, gone are those days you'll be sitting for jam and be waiting for the opportune time for you to gain admission into that your favorite university because time waits for nobody. Time waits for nobody. So, no matter your jam score, maybe because recently jam, jam announced their on the 24th of um, June, jam announced their cut off mark for 2023 section, which was um. 150 150 for university 100 for um polytechnic and college universities so these things with just that you have high hope be that you have from 150 and above you have a, a huge amount of hope to um gain admission into that course you desired for so what you have to do now is you should start preparing for your course team have you started taking online classes have you started taking physical classes have you started reading past questions in that design unit that university you're aspiring for have you taken their past questions and study it to the point that uh, you can tell yourself that yeah i can i can actually um, go for this exam and pass i was the kind of person that when i saw my dance school i was kind of discouraged but i didn't lose hope i kept on pushing for my pursuit team i didn't read as much as i did for my pursuit team because 
when I was preparing for Jan, I didn't prepare very that much. I, it was just my first experience and I didn't prepare, I was not eager to prepare very much. So after I saw my results, I know that guy, you really need to start studying. So I took, I, 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 I muted my social media handles and focus on my goods and when the exam came i just sat for it and i came out with flying colors i saw my result and i know wow i'm i'm definitely going to gain admission this year because i i gave it i it wasn't a point for me to lose hope on myself i i didn't lose hope on me. i actually pushed forth so when i once i saw my um jam results i had to sit back and think on how to make progress with my post because both your post and your jam with your O level results will give you your total aggregate for that department or that course you are aspiring for. So please, if you have not started reading and preparing well for your post if you have not started going through past questions for, from previous years, um, like for instance, Unilag, Unilag Positing from his arts, um, River State University's Positing is art. If you have not gone to um, past questions from this university, you are doing yourself a great harm. So I advise you that you start preparing. Have you take, started taking online classes? You should. Have you um, started reading your books? Have you started answering past questions? Answer these questions and let us know in the comments section. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Please start reading.